What's up, all my GMAT aspirants? Welcome back to MBA Wala by Physics Wala. This is Amit Rora, your VRC expert. All right, let us now consider what are the options within India after giving exams like GMAT. So I've got a short, very important video for you all. That is, what do you do after you give GMAT, and what are these executive MBA programs that are offered by IIMs after looking at your GMAT score? Stay tuned till the end. Very, very important. Let's start. All right. Let me quickly introduce myself. My name is Amit Rohora. I am your VARC expert right here on this channel. This is my experience in teaching, training, coaching, mentoring for all possible exams, both in India and abroad. I have helped a lot of students reach their dream B schools. Again, both India and abroad. Not only that, I am a visiting faculty for MBA in colleges offering national and international MBA. My favorite part is I like to call myself a rock star creator because you guys are Amit Sir, okay? Rock. Stars. Chaliye, let's get started. When we talk of executive MBA, what is this all about? What is the significance? Hundred percent. Please remember, EMBA or executive MBA is specifically designed for professionals with work ex. So generally, generally, work ex is preferred. They have a cut off for work ex. They only take people with a certain amount of work ex. IISB, just pay already a video is present on this channel. Juhi Ma'am has got it and created it. Today we'll be covering IIMs, all possible types of IIMs and their programs with their fees and their GMAT cutoffs are considered the top class for offering exec MBA. Okay? And hundred percent they short list on the basis of GMAT. Beta short listing ke liye GMAT very important hai. And then of course there are other criteria as well. All right. So let's look at the overall criteria and get it in a nutshell. So this is what it is. First of all, you need to have a bachelor's degree or equivalent from a recognized university. Hundred percent IIM said to fifty percent marks are a must, which I'm sure is not that difficult. Okay. Uh, you need to have definitely a valid GMAT score. These scores are valid for five years, but please, ek bar check kar lo. ठीक है, there is no well-defined cut-off, but I will still give you all a cut-off today. Approx for the GMAT Focus Edition, not the old GMAT because that's no more. All right, I'll give you all. Now, hundred percent work experience is important. Carries a lot of weightage when your profile ka scoring is done. Hundred percent candidates need to possess full-time work ex of minimum three to five years, as specified. We will look at that also. Today I will show you all the list of IIMs with their kind of work ex requirements. And people remember final selection round after giving GMAT, getting a call on basis of your profile will be on the basis of, okay, uh, written ability test. Where you will be asked multiple kind of questions. There will be a personal interview as well. All right, written ability test generally kind of centers around your, uh, you know, your vision, your thoughts, your opinion on some kind of subject, and then a personal interview which is based on that. चलिए, now let's get down to statistics and some facts. So, what does an executive MBA offer? What does it make it so exciting? These are the different kinds of subjects that are typically there, which are very exciting. So, designing orgs, macroeconomics, entrepreneurial management, people and performance, economics, marketing, operations. As you can see, it's a general management degree. Yes, there are certain kind of specific MBAs in EMBA also. Just mean there's sports management, there is healthcare management, there could be hospitality management. But other than that, most of them offer you general management. Yeah, financial reporting, competition, decision sciences, finance, business law, corporate governance. Iske saath there are electives. Yeah, electives of course will be specific to subjects, specific to your interest areas, and then they could go here or there depending on what you choose to select. All right. So these are the kind of subjects in a nutshell. चलिए अब बात करते हैं lots and lots of details की. So what I have managed to do here is get you the top IIMs, along with what kind of programs they offer, along with what is their duration and format. So, beta, a MBA can be one year, can be two years, can be full time, can be part online, part classroom. Depend करता है, ठीक है? कौन सा entrance test and finally minimum work ex. M the bad, the best of the best calls it PGPX one year full time है. So you got to move there. Okay, GMAT, GRE, four years minimum criteria. I'll give you the cutoffs and the fees also. 
Bangalore calls it EPGP, one year full time, GMAT, GRE, 5 to 12, 5 to cut off hai hai. Udaipur calls it global supply chain management, digital enterprise, depend karta, DSM wagera, one year full time, GMAT, GRE, 3 years, minimum work X. Udaipur also has PGP, EM, executive MBA, 2 years, weekend only, dekho, this is the difference. Uh, they take GMAT, GRE, they could take a CAT score, but beta, ye check kar lo. Yeah, that the CAT score is generally valid for the two years. So then, which saal ka CAT score is here? Check it ek bar on the website. I am B entrance test if they have any. And people, uh, four years is the experience that is cut off. Tell you. Calcutta calls it MBA executive, one year full time, GMAT only, five years. Lucknow calls it PGP WE, theke? weekends only, GMAT CAT, ZAT, they could also go for GATE. Theke? And they also have their own entrance exam. Theke? Three years minimum cutoff they need. Theke? IPMX ka one year full time. GMAT they need five years. That is same as Lucknow. Indore calls it EPGP one year full time. GMAT for five years. And people they also have PGPMX which is very popular. Two years on weekends only. So working professionals can continue working, support and kind of get into this as well. Aptitude test they do need. Theke? They have an own aptitude test. Five years of work X minimum. Similarly, Ranchi calls it PGP, EXP, 2 years weekends, written test hoga unka khud ka, 5 years, CPGM, 15 months part time, Thikha? so 1 and a half, no, 1 year and 1, quarter, one semester, 1 uh, quarter, Thikha? and then people, they do not have an exam for this, 2 years they need minimum, Raipur calls it PGP, MWE, 2 years on weekends only, entrance test they have, 3 years, Rotha calls it EPGPX, Okay, uh, people, one year online and offline, okay, both, they take all these exams, five years work X minimum, Vishakhapatnam, PGPX, two years weekends, all these exams, three years minimum. If you notice, GMAT is common to most of them, if you notice, the one year or two year, and work X ka, they have defined a minimum criteria, which you should keep in mind, of course. Okay, so people, now work X ki baat karte hai, so what do you need? You need a certificate. You need an experience certificate, appointment letter, salary slips to basically furnish that you have worked there and you have the requisite experience. Okay, now most important, fees and the cutoffs. So, Vita, what I have done is that the prime, uh, Blackie, A, B, C, L, I, K, ka, yahi pe, the program name ke hisab se, if you observe the fees range anywhere from 14.7 lakhs minimum, okay? that is Koi code to going as high as 31.5 lakhs for premium Ahmedabad but beta GMAT focus edition scores be note down kar lo. So Ahmedabad and Bangalore are highest, they need 675. This is as good as the, the prime, the topmost in your earlier GMAT. Okay? Then you have 650, 665, 615, 655. You do know that as per the new GMAT, these scores are now lesser which is good. Because they're testing you on three different skills as compared to the two earlier, including data insights, which IR tha, integrated reasoning. So, uske hisab se, these are the new scores, just ke basis pe cutoffs, these are the general scores that they prefer. So, plus minus little bit can vary here and there. All right. Chaliye. Then we talk of Ranchi, Raipur, Rohta, Kashipur, Udaipur, Trichy, and Shillong. As you see, the different programs ka Amit sir has listed all the fees here. Now people, the second leg of colleges, immediately the fees comes down, okay? ranging from 12 and a half lakhs to 6 and a half lakhs to 22.75 lakhs. Okay? But then also it's Udaipur, where there are multiple programs. Okay? And then of course, these are your GMAT scores, as you can see. So I have given you that as a reference point. Is pure is PDF also aapko mil jayega. In this description box of the video, it can help you. Chaliye. Further continuing, there's Kashipur, IIM Jammu, TK, Sambalpur and Vizag. All of these are of course baby IIMs, new IIMs, different programs that they offer. Typical average course fees is given here and people GMAT focus edition ka score. I've also given you a range here. So starting from, so malab ke 655 plus, they generally tend to call aspirants at these scores or plus or above them. So these should be your target scores when you are deciding to apply for these target colleges. Once again, what I highly suggest, any kind of college, the beta, what can be the deciding factors here? 100% the location, 100% the fees, 
वर्क एक्स क्राइटेरिया विल बी योर वेरी वेरी बेसिक ठीक है एंड उसके अलावा पीपल योर कट ऑफ विल ऑल्सो डिपेंड सो उसके बेसिस पे वाई डोंट यू फर्स्ट नैरो डाउन योर चॉइसिस decide look at the subjects that they offer look at the electives that they offer look at if they offer you international immersion bahut important hai that's very fancy so they send you overseas where you get to work somewhere gain experience gain a certificate that enhances your profile even further so that is super awesome you get to study there also people so this is definitely recommended theek hai chaliye finally so now that we've covered with the cut off with the fees the type of program the the, uh, the exam that they take and work ex let's also talk of some specific features criteria of some ones theek hai iim a mein theek hai there is a age limit minimum 25 you have to be above you can't enter if you're below 25 ek baar recheck from the official website theek hai lucknow offers executive mba programs theek hai at its noida campus So you don't get to go to Lucknow. You get to go to Noida in Delhi. Okay. Unlike other IIMs, Calcutta and Shillong requires candidate to have a valid score of GMAT taken three years, not five. So these are specific to IIMs, which if you plan to apply, you need to go and check on their websites. Okay. Kashipur considers CAT GMAT scores of last two years only. Even CAT, but two years, not five years. and finally some of these courses are sponsored and relayed in interactive virtual learning platforms matlab they will not be physical they will be online which will be interactive definitely where learning will be very much supported theek hai to ye sab sari baatein hai finally of course not to just leave you like that theek hai the scope is immense these courses are definitely recommended these colleges are best of the best as you can see it is not that difficult to get into because at the end of the day gmat is more logical gmat is uh, i would like to call it more generic as compared to cat cat is more subject matter not to call one tough or one easy i'm not saying that so definitely give it a try the scope bahut hai theek hai emba can land you in high ranking careers in india and abroad definitely because of the fact that you have you you can take a career jump you can take a profile jump you can definitely look at a level jump okay in case of part time programs aspirants continue doing their jobs and placements are they have not offered sorted okay so you are continuing your course you are doing an emba long distance or virtual from a premier institute like this where you are earning and paying the fees also and you are gaining experience and a degree at the end of it sorted your cv gets enhanced please remember attainment of exec mba degree 100% will make way for higher promotions and definite good opportunities e mba is very very powerful and highly recommended theek hai chalo like i promised i said it will be a short video it was very important that now you have all of the information in one place what i highly recommend is make a list of colleges decide your criteria focus on gmat studies and then crack the gmat first then you decide your colleges based on electives location fees your gmat score and visit their official websites for the latest criteria that comes out i have tried to capture everything that i could right here in this video chaliye jaane se pehle please in the comments let me know did you enjoy the video was it useful and what other kind of related videos you want let amit sir know i will create and get them for sure until then please take care please stay safe this is amit sir signing off